halls of the Old Bainbridge High School. You have no idea where your classes are or who your teacher is. Everyone around you seems so big and much older than you. Sound familiar? It's hard to believe that was us just four years ago. As a class, 2011 has had some amazing memories. Memories that we should never forget. It is said that memory is a way of holding on to the things you love, the things you are, the things you never want to lose. We should take our high school memories with us even as we leave the halls of Bainbridge High School. But before we go, let's bring some of these memories back to life. Let's take these memories all the way back to middle school. Remember when we were separated, Hutto Tigers against the West Bainbridge Eagles? Back then, we were rivals, and now here we are together as Bainbridge Bearcats. As we moved into freshman year, we were both excited and scared. On the first day of high school, no matter how cool we tried to look, we all know we were as lost as we could be. And the rumors of freshmen getting thrown into the trash can didn't help very much either. I doubt anyone would admit it now, but there were some who fell for the elevator pass rumor, even though there was no elevator on the old campus. Speaking of the old campus, how could we forget the rocks? On a rainy day, parking in the rocks meant you were soaking wet by the time you reached the building, and your car was probably underwater. Unfortunately, we never got the privilege to park on Senior Road before we moved to the new high school. And once again, on the first day of 11th grade, we were just as lost as freshman year. The new campus brought along its own set of memories, like allowing our class to be the first seniors to have a senior parade down Highway 84. And the group that was there at the school the night before senior year started, if you had never had an encounter with the police before then, you did that night. <laughs> senior year brought exciting, but at the same time, sad memories. We took senior pictures, sent out graduation invitations, and attended our last prom. We attended the graduation practices and perfected our swoosh. And the first time the pompous circumstance played at practice, the reality of graduating set in. We were so excited the day we received our cap and gowns, and now here we are at graduation wearing them. Through all of our high school years, we have had many people that have influenced us. When we first started in ninth grade, we all had to visit Ms. Shabro to make our four-year plan. And since then, she has been a wonderful counselor for our class. There were also many teachers that we will never forget. In economics, many of us had the opportunity to enjoy Coach Sprinkle's unique sense of humor. If you ever had a class with Ms. Dunlap, you're familiar with the term, three strikes and you're out. And girls, don't we all hope that we will have the ability to wear heels like Ms. Merrill does when we grow up? Not only did we encounter memorable teachers, most of us made friends that we hope will last a lifetime. These friends were the ones who were there in the good times and helped us through the bad times. As we continue on with our lives, we will drift away from most of the friends we spent our high school years with. But we should always remember the times that we shared and those times we will never forget. As we bring high school to an end, we will always cherish these memories. But now it is time for the class of 2011 to move into the future. Randy Posh says, we cannot change the cards we are dealt, just how we play the hand. So no matter what life throws our way once we enter the real world, we can control each situation with how we handle the problem. Because of a promise given to us in God's word, we must never worry about what the future holds, only look forward to it. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Jeremiah 29:11. Thank you.